Hello. I know it's been a while since I've made a camp video, but I thought I'd make another one now because I am actually planning to move my camp. I mean, I've had this one for a very long time now, so don't want to have camps for too long. And pretty much this one is at the best it's going to be because I'm not going to modify it anymore after this. I'm actually pretty just happy that I found this place. It was by pure luck that I walked over here because I was lost and didn't really know where to go, but onto the camp. Basically the idea behind it is it's a pre-war satellite array, or if I actually have it there, SATCOM array, because I'm basing it off the ones from Fallout 3, which are called SATCOM arrays. But obviously it has been utilized by the Enclave post-war. So I guess to start here, this is pretty nice how there was actually already tire tracks here. So I can just put up a, I guess, checkpoint? I don't know if checkpoint's the right word, but you would basically have to, you know, come up here and check in to actually be let into the facility. And here's just the guard post area, you know, if anyone's trying to attack this place. Which is obviously a terrible idea. He is just the inside, not much to it. So we'll go through the gate, which it actually opens, unlike the one all the way down there. So come in, we'll look at the garage. Which, if I open that, yeah. It's obviously pointless having a garage because there's no cars, but it's... Well, I'm proud of it anyway. It's just a bin, some toolboxes, and a scrap box, which I thought looked like a big toolbox. Then we'll go around here, and we've got the firing range. Just stand behind here and get out your weapon. You can just shoot them. It's a firing range, not much to say about it. Then we'll go in here with the keypad. Oh my god, I, how do I forget that all the time? Here is the garden, which I have had to move inside because of the constant attacks, which I am very annoyed by, and even somehow the enemies still spawn in here, which is very annoying. Probably the worst thing about this location is just how enemies spawn here so often. Then we'll go outside and got the wall there. You don't want to be walking behind the firing range because there's going to be stray bullets hitting you. And clearly I've got more concrete, uh, I guess, walls, not walls, concrete barricades to reinforce the fences where they've been destroyed. And my Brahmin is not here, I believe. He's actually out here, along with the Protectron too. Because they seem to like going outside the fence. I only really even have a Brahmin for the milk for the potato salad. And the Collectron's always just cool to have. Just a nice back area there. So we'll keep going inside. I mean, obviously this is a satellite here. That's already there. Actually, I should mention I... Originally when I put the camp down, I put it up in that area. Just there. So here's the kitchen. Got everything you need to prepare a meal. Got the chemistry workbench, which can be utilized for plenty of things. And cooking stove regular stove, a brewing station, fermenter, and two refrigerators, because who doesn't like more food? And bin in the corner. Here is, I guess, the armory slash sort of utility room-ish. It's got the generator back there, ammo converter, ammo 
factory. And obviously all the crafting workbenches, power armor workbench, and here is the heavy weapons where they're kept because they are powerful weapons, so you want them behind a locked door. And well, I don't have enough space in my camp budget to put one more down, but it looks fine because it looks like one's been used. And here's the commander, certain name that I forget how to pronounce, which it's very good because when you actually have her as an ally, you get that cool console. And there's just the bathroom here, got the sink, got the mirror which doesn't work. Oh, you can't actually sit down on the toilet. Hmm. Oh, then we go in here which I've sort of based loosely off the White Springs military section. Been there, then you've got the desks with the chairs. Obviously. Yeah, I've got all these file cabinets, the computer, and the console, which the, the sort of way I see this working is, well, it's a SATCOM array, it obviously scans the area. I guess you could have like an explanation that this is, I mean, I know there is Sugar Grove and stuff that connects to Kovac Muldoon, the satellite that the Enclave uses, or I guess just MODIS uses. This could be another connection site, I guess. You would control the, uh, well, the... Have I been saying satellite? I meant... <laughs> I think I've been saying satellite. Yeah, the radar dish here. And you would control this, this or I guess this possibly. Here just is the... Why? Well, not barracks exactly sort of barracks but the beds this facility obviously isn't supposed to be a proper base for troops it's just a small reconnaissance facility so everyone here is an officer and they have their own room with a locker which is where they keep their weapons and clothing so there's three of those here is my office, doesn't really look like a general's office, I sort of based it more on a presidential office because I thought it just looked pretty nice. Then here is my bedroom which is much nicer. So the terminal locker camp just placed on the regular stash, scrap box then the dresser. And the alarm clock on the nice bed here with pillows. Most beds don't have pillows in this game. That is really my entire camp. I am very happy with how this turned out in the end. Sadly, I will be moving it and getting rid of this awesome location. Well, not getting rid of the location, but getting rid of this awesome camp because... I mean, I've just had it for such a long time now. I think it's time to change. Well, hopefully I can get another video out soon this... Oh no, the door's closed on me. Hopefully I can get another video out this weekend. Probably not. I am pretty lazy, so... Don't count on it, but I am still working on that Secret Service video for the T-65 and the Secret Service armor. So, see you later. I hope you have a good rest of your day, or good tomorrow, whatever time zone you're in. See ya.